recipe is the foie gras with uh, beetroot jelly and strawberry. So it's uh, all the foie gras. We take off all the um, blood and... The veins. Yeah, veins. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, the veins inside. And it's marinated with salt, uh, sugar and pepper. It's a slow cook in um, at 65 degrees. And uh, 65 degrees, we cook inside the foie gras 39 degrees. We have a jelly. so. I take off the jelly. That's better to make the day before because the gelatin need to to make its job one time to use the second time. That is the chutney we have uh, cooked with the gelatin. It's um, it's uh, it's a uh, mini brunoise cook and uh, with a strawberry. And the strawberry, when it's cooked, coming in looks puree and it fits all the chutney. And um, we have um, one more thing. It's um, a beetroot puree. Yeah, so we cook the beetroot um, and we mix that together. Uh, we mix together with uh, butter, sugar beetroot puree, so and uh, a little bit vinegar, salt, and freshly ground black pepper. So it should only be just warm enough to coat the foie gras. If it's too hot, as the chef was saying, uh, it will melt some of the fat, and then you get an oily film on top of the jelly, which is not so nice. And now that we put that in the fridge. Mm -hmm just to fix again the gelatin. And it needs to stand for how long? Uh, I think 20 minutes now. Mm -hmm. That's why it's better to do that the day before. And with that, it's easy to do. You take some. The plastic's about three to four millimeters thick. Yeah. Ah, voila. That's it. Chat, yeah. Chef, are you very inspired by architecture when you lay out your plates? Yeah, yeah, a lot. Pamprenel, do you know this herb? What's it called again, Chef? Pamprenel. <laughs> I don't know in English. It has a very mild cucumber flavor. A very cool, um, pretty obvious cucumber likeness in the flavor of this herb. You use a mandolin to cut the beetroot very, very thin, as thin as possible, and you use um, a round piping tip to cut out small circles. That's the easiest way. The Florentine biscuit made of uh, ground hazelnuts, butter, yeah. and sugar. Butter, sugar, and fondant. Mm -hmm. So we, we boil that, put it really flat. It's coming soft and flat and cook in the oven. Half cooked, we cut the size, what you want. Okay, Chef's just heating the side of the mold so that the terrine will release neatly. Do not try this at home. It's a bottomless uh, oh, So a chef uses a wet, hot knife. Yeah. To cut a very neat slab. Wow, look at that. And the hazelnut quarantine. chef is pressing the Florentine into the foie gras, yeah. so they're suspended off the bottom. Yeah, and a little bit further cylinder. Mm -hmm. 